Hello friends, welcome to learning class. Today we will discuss about the difference between lunar day, solar day and seidel day. Why there is a difference of timing that is lunar day has 24 hours 50 minutes, solar day 24 hours and seidel day 23 hours 56 minutes 4.1 second. Before that we should know how these are measured. These are measured by taking some reference point and due to difference in reference point these days have difference in their time periods now let us explain one by one and their differences so for solar day we have to consider first of all make a, a fixed point suppose we are making here with respect to sun and it is in line of sight with it and also in line of sight with the star the star is taken very very far away star and that can be taken as static because the as the uh, distance increases the movement has that little effect and because in this world nothing is static everything is moving you can't say anything is static and so no perfect reference point is there in this world but the distance stars can be taken as Static because they have a little moment because of large distance. So now we are <coughs> taking a point here on earth, we are here and we are in that line of sight with the sun and the star. The, and the sun is overhead us and also the star. Earth has two moments, one around the sun and the other is about its own axis. So any day it is the time period taken by the earth to rotate from its initial position to come again at that position in direct line of sight with the reference point that may be star sun or moon so that count the time period of a day so when from this point when the earth starts rotating it also moves in its orbit around the sun so let us assume that earth has completed its 360 degree and it come in line of sight with the star at this point. After just after 360 degree it again come in line of sight with the star but for sun it has to cover more 1 degree to come in line of sight because earth has also covered a distance in its orbit due to which it has to cover extra more degree to come in line of sight with the sun but but for the star it is in line of sight in 360 degree only because the star is very at very 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 far away due to which the little this little distance star by earth in its orbit will not make difference and in just in 360 degree covering 360 degree the earth will be in line of sight with the star but sun as sun is very near so the this little angular distance traveled by the earth is 1 degree and that will make that earth has to cover one more degree in its own axis rotation to come in line of sight with the sun so that is several day it will be 360 degree rotation of earth to again come in line of sight with the sun and that will be 24 hour no, sorry 23 hour 56 minute and 4.1 second time period and in, for solar day from this point to this point up to again come in line of sight with the sun and with that fixed point we have taken on earth in the sun the earth has to cover 361 degree and that will be 24 hours time period so that is the difference between seidel day and the solar day so solar day is greater uh, have a larger time period than seidel day remember one thing now come to the point of lunar day suppose this is our earth moon is rotating around earth and uh, now let us a fixed point here we are we are standing here on earth and 
this is moon we have line of sight with the moon now what is lunar day lunar day is the time period taken by earth taken by earth to again come in line of sight with the moon with the same fixed point suppose this is point x fixed and now at this point counting from 0 minute it is in line of sight with the moon now again to come in line of sight with the moon it has earth will rotate and come after some period of time and that time period will count one lunar day now what will the time period let us know within 360 degree rotation earth will again in the same line of sight but moon has moved from here to this point because the moon also has its orbital motion around earth so moon will not be static uh, we will come after the, just after 360 in the same line of sight to this point but moon has moved here and that will make some angle at that angle again earth has to move more to come in line of sight with the moon so that difference come is 13 degree that is earth has to move more extra 13 degree to come in line of sight again with the moon so total rotation of earth become 373 degree and th this 13 degree count more 50 minutes time period so the length of lunar day become 24 hour plus 50 minute <coughs> so in this way lunar day is the longest day then come the solar day 24 hours then the sidereal day and the and i will say here that the sidereal day has more accuracy because because of a far far distance of the star and that is a, 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 and that continuously appear as fixed fixed at its fixed position due to which the single day has more accuracy but in our day to day life we always have solar day in our measurement so now i hope you will understand difference between single day lunar day and solar and solar day if you like this video and if you understand then please subscribe my channel i will upload about more theories and more such topics if you have any doubt about any topic comment on my channel i will explain to you in next video